Hello everybody, uh, my name is Gana Bajanath and I'm about to show you how to install cryptocurrency objects um, as well as organizational units and users. Well, the first thing, let me explain a little bit what about what cryptocurrency is. Well, it controls almost every access of what the user sees. So basically, I could set somebody to not see my documents or be able to set the um, screen saver and whatnot. Also, configuring security, like specific passwords for specific users or groups. Um, another aspect of group policies is that you could redirect folders. Um, this can mostly be seen when you're doing stuff like room and profiles, where files are stored elsewhere. Like, say a user logs into one computer with the um, normal username what he has, and he saves some files on perhaps the desktop or something. He can log on to another computer and also see those files there, which is basically room and profiles. Um, another thing is with group policy objects is that you can install software, like, say, you uh, have, for instance, um, Firefox, I don't know where is the latest edition, but I say the old edition was like 3, I think the latest is 5 or 4 or something like that. Anyways, and say you want to upgrade, basically the person who controls the group policy objects can upgrade them there. Alright, let me get into this, right? Well, first of all, we're going to PTS. Group policy management for us. Well, we went into Canada.com. I'll maximize this. Right. Two means can do. Right. As you can see here, well, the default policy domain here. Well, that was the Canada.com using, but I won't edit any of that, right? It has stuff like starter GPUs, which is basically I can make a group policy object here and say I want to send it to someone, they could use it. And basically, I already have a what do you say, like a template, right? So if they want, they could change whatever they want or they could leave it there. So I just keep on adding, right? All right, well, one thing with group policies is when you're creating them, you don't want to create like a whole set in one, right? Because you'll confuse yourself in a sharpness. First of all, we'll just see like this, right? And as you can see, it has the group policy domain here, right? Well, the default. Well, up here, they just like a shortcut. So basically, the main file is stored down here, right? Okay, first of all, we shall create a new organizational unit, right? And we'll go into rules, active directory, don't go over so in time. Come in here, right, right click, select new. I see new organizational unit, right? Let's select that. I'll name it some shippiness by cost or some. Oops. Right. So okay. Alright. Now I have a new organization unit, right? Inside this we want to create some users. Alright, sec user go and name him. Sec next. Right, um user must change password at next login. Well, me I do that, but you should do that if you're implementing it. So, like say set A B C one two three or something and it's like that, they'll be able to set it to whatever they want, right? And have it secure. For my instance, I just choose user can I change password and password never expires. Actually, no, I won't select this user can I change password because that's got kind of problems. Let's leave it as password never expires. I'll set my password. Just remember you had to meet the standards of Windows Server 2008 by using caps, common um, one or two, how much digits you want, yes. Right.
next finish all right well i'll pause the video here and i'll just do like one more user and then i'll continue right another thing to note is these two users here that are created i want to add them to a group break to make things simple so right click select new go to group i uh, will name this group students all right we'll leave it as global and continue if you want to get read up on domain local global and universal all right but i want to really go into detail with that now so i'll just select okay all right highlight these two right click add to a group just type in stud check names student populates select ok alright now these two users were added to students group which entail is added to class right ok well now we'll go into features so I'll close off this the features group policy management domains can you not come alright um also stuff like starter gpus and stuff well basically uh, as i said there's a template but for now we'll right click select a new group policy object and we'll name it test all right if i had a starter gpu i just like to drop down i'll see it populate here the name and whatnot this Start a GPU as a template, right? So if I wanted to use a template, I'll just use it and keep on editing it. And uh, things would have been nice if it's like a big organization or something. But for this, it's just a test environment, so don't need any of that. Alright, I'll select OK. Alright, when I click on this now, as you can see, it applies to all authenticated users, right? You want to remove that okay select add check names all right we're just gonna add a students group basically to this so now we'll come on the organizational unit right click select link and existing gpu right and select test select okay Alright, now we're going to edit this, well, one of the policies in the test object. So we'll select edit. Alright, policies, administrative templates. Alright, I think it is on desktop. I should know, my lab. Alright, display. desktop team right so remove team option right so I'm gonna go across to the Windows Vista now or pause all right I'm on the Windows Vista here as you can see I logged in as um, the username Ken and um, when I right click select personalize as you can see, I can set the themes, right? Alright, cancel. Now let's go back to the server. Alright. Here yeah, you see remove team option. Gonna right click, select properties, select enable, right? Apply, okay. Come on to start. Come on from G P update slash force. Uh, sometimes you might need a uh, slash log off for certain th things, but for this we just G P update slash force. Enter.
All right. Now that this is done, we'll go across to the Windows Vista machine now and do the same. Where am I? Is? Well, actually, I'm going to type it right here. GP update forward slash force enter alright now that it's finished we'll right click again select personalize and as you can see I cannot set the themes anymore it is gone and well basically when you certain policies how I did it here I just name it test right what I really should have done is let's rename it to sorry, remove teams right so now I actually know what this policy does it removes the teams feature so when you set up policies, to go and create a whole set of policies in one because then you'll confuse yourself. The best thing to do is have a whole set of different policies, like each one having just one alone. That way you'll actually know what's going on. It might look kind of stink, but at the same time, you're saving yourself a lot of work. Also, WMI filters. I say I want to apply this to a certain operating system we'll have used the WMI filters instead and well that's about it for basically group policy objects so thank you for viewing and please subscribe